sushi. Not that long ago, it was only for the Flash Harrys. But now, even our local supermarkets are opening sushi bars. Us Brits cannot get enough. However, I've seen reports of slithery sightings that are putting me off my sashimi. Have you heard about this guy in California? He went to the loo. He has a tapeworm that is five foot six inches. And they think that it's down to his daily salmon sushi. But can you really get a tapeworm from eating sushi? To get the lowdown on this lunchtime larvae, I've come to the Natural History Museum in London. Lovely to meet you. Lovely to meet you too. Eileen Harris has the unusual job of looking after 600,000 worms. Gosh, so what have you got here? This is actually from a killer whale. Is it a single worm? Yep, yeah, that is one worm. That worm measures about six metres. <gasps> oh, and it has relatives that you find in humans. <laughs> This whopping worm was found in a whale, so you won't be seeing this in your sushi. But Eileen's got plenty other gut-churning offerings to show me. This is a piece of fish, and you see hanging off it these little tiny things that look like little bits of thread. Those are the young worms. Anisakis is a round worm. Anisakis is a parasitic worm that can be contracted from eating undercooked or raw fish, like sushi. Say I ate a bit of fish or mm. sushi mm. and one of these little worms were inside. Does that worm just keep on growing? No, it won't growing? keep on growing because it's in the wrong host. It's in you. So it wriggles about and tries to get out. So it tends to <laughs> sort of bore holes in your stomach wall. And that's what causes irritation. And that's called anisakiasis. Unsurprisingly, anisakiasis can cause severe abdominal pain as well as vomiting and diarrhea. How worried should I be about eating sushi and getting a worm? There's a 1,000 cases a year in Japan. Um, there are some in California. I do not know of any reported cases in this country of anisakiasis. It's very, very rare. Lucky for us. But I want to know why we're less likely to find a worm in UK sushi. What's so special about our fish? I want to see how they make sure a parasite doesn't slip through the net so I'm in London visiting Wasabi, one of the UK's largest high street chains. Hi, Steve. Hi, Kate. Lovely to meet you. Likewise. Steve Hedges is the head of health and safety, and he's going to show me where they process a whopping two tonnes of salmon a day, all of which is destined for sushi and sashimi. And here is where we fillet the salmon. Speedy. How do you ensure that these salmon are parasite free? The salmon's from Norway. They're farmed in raised nets, so the fish can never come into contact with the seabeds where they might feed and pick up the parasites. So it's farm salmon, not wild? Yes. Although we know of environmental problems with some farm salmon, Steve says his are from stock that have carefully controlled conditions and food supply. Can I have a go at this? Absolutely, yes. How hard can it be? So how do you know for sure that there aren't any parasites in this fillet? You would see them in the flesh, like little worms. The guys are, are trained to be on the lookout for them. Have you ever found a parasite here? Never, no. I am making an absolute dog's dinner of this. Well, a little bit more training, <laughs> then you'll get there. <laughs> but it's not just salmon that's used to make sushi. I want to know how we can be sure species that are difficult to farm are still parasite-free. So Steve is taking me to one of his stores nearby. Now, what about tuna? Time to see the pros at work. Aha, uh -huh, this is looking a little more like it. How do you make sure that your tuna is also parasite-free like the salmon? Because it's wild, um, it can't be controlled on a farm. So the way that this is controlled is it's frozen. It's a legal requirement in the EU that any fish that's to be eaten raw must have been frozen, which is known to kill parasites. But you don't have to freeze your salmon? No, that's because we know it's from that guaranteed source that it won't have the parasites. So careful farming and freezing helps deter parasites here in the UK. But in other countries where these measures aren't in place, it's often left to the fish processors to keep a close eye out for any unwanted guests. And if you're pregnant like me, best check with your GP before you tuck into any raw fish. Well, there certainly 
isn't a parasite in that. <laughs> Look at that lovely piece of fish.